Hey, what's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. The other day I had a fellow in the shop and we were looking at this new Get Data collection system that we have as we're testing out the new SX1 ECU. And he noticed these little Wago connectors that were on the bike. And we're using this to pull power from this little headlight connector that we made. This is connected to the headlight of the bike, pulling power into this. And then this is just a distribution bus. And we're sending power through each one of these to the system itself. And then we've got a auxiliary headlight going on over here. And he asked about these, never seen them before. And so essentially what these are, are an open, environmentally open type connector. And these are like a commercial use electrical grade device. You can get these at any of the like electrical supply houses. And they are, since they're open, they fall in the same category as like these on the KTM. And so on your stock bike, you already have a bunch of these open type connectors and they all allow water and dirt and environmental uh, contaminants to get into them and they're subject to corrosion. The pins on these are a press-in type connector. So what, what happens here is inside of that housing you have these little bullet, a receiver and a pin and then these just friction fit into each other and so these are all subject to corrosion and degradation because they're open which is exactly what this is and and so the the thought is that will these degrade um, and, and are they suitable for use on a motorcycle? Well, these types of connectors that you already have on your bike will degrade. And these are the exact same type of connectors. Here, as I'm looking at this, I see one over here and there's one buried back in here. There's quite a few of them. And these are the same type of connectors that you have in things in your house, like TVs, microwave ovens, your power supply and your computer. So are these suitable for motorcycle use? They are. Are they ideal? Is it the exact thing? Um, that you want in all conditions. There's some debate about that, but but we in practice have found that these do a good job and so do these. We have a lot of time and miles on these. And the beauty of these little guys is it allows you to take a bare wire. For example, I'll pull this out. This is over to that headlight. So I can take a bare stripped wire and without any tools, any special crimps or any special knowledge, I can just insert it in there, close the tab, it's locked and secured. And if I ever need to change out that component, it's super quick and easy. If I want to add a component, I can do that again, super quick and easy. And these come in um, two, three, and five ports. The other thing that he noticed on here is that we have this little wire management device. So when you have a stranded wire, what you end up with is sometimes a little bit of a mess where you have your individual conductors and then they'll fray, they'll get, they'll get all boogered out. And that's happened to everybody before. So what you can do is slip this little sleeve over the end of that and there's a special tool that comes in a little kit that you can get and you insert that sucker, crimp it, and now you have all of your wires managed and controlled inside of this little pinch sleeve and then that can go into your port, close it, and you're done. So you can really quickly add an accessory item to any of the electrical systems on your bike and we'll pop that back in. And then the last thing that we always do is we, we want to corrosion and waterproof these out. And so we found in practice that the best thing is this ACF 50. You can get this on our site and a spray of this into the ports, into any of the open type connectors. All of these things back in here will prevent corrosion and inhibit water. This is a really fantastic item. And uh, we advocate for this. Uh, when you get a new bike, you would do well to prep it out by putting this in all those connectors. You can even use this on sealed type connectors. And so how you do that is you can spray this, take your connector apart. This could be an ECU connector, any type of sealed connector, and you'd spray that in there and you could do both sides if you like. And then take a little bit of compressed air, just a bit, and just blow out all that liquid buildup. You don't want drippy, runny pools of that in there because that will essentially create uh, a little bit of a hydraulic lock because it's that fluid takes up cat takes up space within this cavity and it may prevent you from inserting this and sealing it all the way. So we found that just a, a little shot of air to blow any of that out and then go ahead and do your insertion is really the ideal way to do that. So if you have any questions about electrical connectors, waterproofing, environmental protection on those, let us know in the comments or hit us up at the shop and we'll put a link to that ACF 50 below. Like, subscribe, go out, get some adventure.